Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, welcome. My name is Belinda. Beauties, today I'm going to be creating this shutter note holder. Now, um, my last video I created a shutter and was holding some flower pots. But for this one, I wanted to create one that would hold some positive notes that I created for myself. Many days I find myself being overwhelmed or stressed and these little notes are a reminder to myself in how I should be. So if you want to see how I put this together, then please keep watching. But before that we get started, I'm just going to ask if you can please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And also if you'll click that bell icon, you know, right there in the corner so that you can be notified every time that I upload a new video. So if you're ready, let's go ahead and get started. For this shutter, I'm going to be using one of these wall decor from Dollar Tree, some giant craft sticks from Walmart, and I'll also be using some of this bling wrap, and this I got from Totally Dazzled. Natalie was nice enough to send me a roll. I'll go ahead and link the link down below in case you're interested in purchasing a roll yourself. Some acrylic paint in the color Granite Gray. I'll be using six clothespins and I got these at Dollar Tree. I'll also be using some of these index cards and I cut them in half for the size that I was going to need. Okay, so I'm going to start by removing this plastic picture that they came with. They're very flimsy and it just came right off so I didn't even have to tug at it. I barely just lifted it up and everything just came right off. I'm not sure if your Dollar Tree carried these, but I purchased these a while back. I'm using these because I really like the thickness of the frame, but you can use any other frame if you decide to do this project. Next, I'm going to remove the hardware. Okay, so I've turned my picture frame over and what I'm going to do here is just try to figure out how many popsicle sticks I'm going to need to form the slates for the shutter. So I ended up figuring that I would use about 10 of those popsicle sticks. Okay, so what I'm going to do is cut the popsicle stick to fit inside the frame. And so here I'm just showing you where I'm going to end up marking it off and then cutting it. I'll be using my ruler to get a straight line. Okay, so now I'm just going to cut them down to size. Okay, so here are my 10 cut popsicle sticks and now I'm ready to start placing them inside the frame. And I'll be working on the back side of the frame. I do have to tell you that this was a little bit hard in the beginning, but then it got easier. Once I placed the popsicle stick, I added some hot glue to each end. And I placed the slate facing down as if it were a real shutter. Now I have to admit it was a little hard when I first started, but then I got the hang of it. Now one thing I did learn is that I needed to put a lot of hot glue on each end to make sure that the slate would stay firmly adhered to the frame. Now this is how it looks with the first slate on. Okay, so now I'm going to put the second one and I just want to show you here that the popsicle stick is nice and snug inside the frame, which helped before I started to hot glue it. And here I just want to show you how I keep the frame sideways and then I add the hot glue and I hold it like that for a bit until the hot glue sets in because for some reason it kept running and not setting quickly enough. I continued to follow the same steps until I was done. And this is how the shutter turned out. And then let me show you the back. I want to show you that I put a lot of hot glue. I wanted to make sure that the slates would be firmly adhered to the frame. Okay. 
Okay, so now I'm ready to start painting it. I found it easier to first put the popsicle sticks onto my frame and then paint it all together. And this is how it looks now that it's painted and I'm going to put it aside and let it dry. Next, I'm going to paint the clothespins with the same color. After I'm done painting them, I'm going to set them aside and let them dry. Next, I'm going to start writing my positive notes and I'm going to start with pray first of all. If you decide to do this project, you can customize your own positive notes. These are the notes that I wrote for myself because like I said, I need to tell myself this every day, <laughs> let me tell you. And they don't have to be perfect because remember, they're for you to look at. Okay, so I'm done writing all my positive notes. So I have pray, breathe, enjoy life, have fun, slow down, and be positive. Okay, so now that the paint is dry, I'm gonna start adding the bling wrap all around the frame of the shutter. Okay, so I'm gonna start by adding some hot glue and then adding the bling wrap on top of it. And I'll be using my silicone spatula to press down the bling wrap so that I don't burn myself. I have to say that this bling wrap from Totally Dazzle is amazing. The quality is really great. And this is how the shutter turned out. Next, I'm going to start also adding some bling wrap to my clothespins. And this is how all six turned out. Well, here is my shutter note holder with my positive notes. Sometimes we just have to remind ourselves to slow down or have fun. Sometimes we have to remind ourselves to be positive, enjoy life, and sometimes we just have to breathe. Anyhow, that is it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up and also share. I'd really appreciate it. You have yourself a blessed day. And remember, love, laugh, and create. Until my next video, bye-bye and God bless.